Just the want to get back into the workforce, to interact with other people and just change the direction of life and have, get towards a better life, I guess. After 15 years not working, Ross Nordstrand is turning his life around. Ross has multiple sclerosis, a degenerative condition that's already had a huge impact on his life. I was a cabinet maker, qualified cabinet maker. Um, I was pretty into my outdoor work. I used to um, do lots of gardening, cu cutting trees down, milking cows, all sorts of things like that. Uh, after being diagnosed and having the illness, I would struggle to try and do the things I used to do. In the end, it just gets too much. Ross was diagnosed at just 25. He had a sudden acute episode and was flat on his back for three months. He eventually got back to work, but it was physically demanding, and even part-time hours proved too tough. His sense of hopelessness and frustration was compounded by acute dyslexia. Basically, I used to sleep during the day. I wouldn't get up until quite late, because I didn't go to bed till five in the morning. And I'd, and I'd be awake all night, playing games, and just drinking away, just just wasting my time, really. It was a random call-up for jury service in 2006 that got him out of bed and back in the real world. I had to go into the high court and every day for a couple of weeks, and, uh, you know, and then that's really sort of showed me what being back into society could be like, and that really sort of changed my way of thinking. After that, I had lots of motivation and I had to get lots of things done in my life right, that I hadn't done for so long. Ross's illness means he's left with no other choice but to retrain. He simply can't do the work he was originally qualified for. There are obstacles every step of the way, but he's determined to get off welfare and make a real contribution. Been on Invalid's Benefit for 15 years, I just thought I've gained quite a lot of knowledge over the last few years on computers. I thought. There's something I can do here. Um, it's a sit-down down job. If I if I know my stuff, I can I can get a job and get back into the workforce and start earning some money and have a life, <laughs> a better life. Um, it's quite exciting to come into town and into the middle of Queen Street on a nice day, see everyone around. I'm not used to that. I'm used to just seeing myself or seeing the computer screen and watching TV, so it's quite nice to be out there and talking to pe real people and mixing with, you know, fellow students and learning. But just as things were looking up, a change in legislation meant Ross was no longer eligible for the training incentive allowance. It's no longer available for study that's level four and above, which is most tertiary study, university study, like uh, teachers training, course or a, um, Bachelor of Arts or something like that, that was all used to be funded. His only option, a larger student loan. A big ask for someone whose future health and earnings are uncertain. Um, it's whether I'm going to get a job and be able to pay that student loan back. Yeah, that's the biggest worry. Attitude contacted the Minister for Social Development and the Minister for Disability Issues, asking them to comment on Ross's situation and cuts to the training incentive allowance. Not surprisingly, they're citing the recession. They also made a number of recommendations about alternative funding, but Ross doesn't qualify for any of them. Well, initially I was pretty worried um, because it was $3,000 off my course fees, um, which made it made it a bit daunting, I thought. So how was your course today? Oh, it was good, thanks. It was a uh, good day. Although Ross's job prospects are uncertain, girlfriend Julia has already noticed a change in his attitude. He's really, really bright, really quite clued up, and I don't think he gives himself much credit. Um, but I think the more he achieves it on this course, the better he's going to be, the more confident he's going to be. If I just sat back and did nothing, uh, you either use it or lose it sort of thing. So I just want to keep going for as long as I can go, you know.